Mike Winkleman, known as Beeple, has become one of my favorite artists. He became the blueprint on how we artists can continue to work until one day, all the work you have done up to that point in time pays off. March 11, 2021, Beeple sold his art for $69.3 million as a non-fungible token, also known as an NFT. You know, board apes, crypto punks, and all the other buzz that was being created around crypto in 2021. I personally believe that this was one of the main reasons many people finally decided to look into what crypto is. But that is another topic for another day. Every day was the title of the art piece people sold. It is the recollection of daily pieces he made for 5,000 days straight. Can you name something you have done for 5,000 days that's outside of eating, sleeping, and using the restroom? Most of us can't, and that in itself is where the value of 69.3 million can be debated. Artists in general are not seen as business people. That is why the term the starving artist exists. But artists like Beeple have now changed the narrative and shown that artists have the potential to do what they enjoy most and at the same time enjoy the fruits of their labor while alive. Today, I have decided to start my own version of Every Days. To begin with, I personally thought about how can I make this new practice different than any other every day out there. And this is my take. I will create one piece a day, add one video to it, showing the process from beginning to end. Some will be time lapses, others will be step-by-step -step guides. If you made it this far, enjoy today's time lapse, which is a piece and medium that I feel the most comfortable creating with, pencil and paper. So just officially finished editing the video. Um, it's taken me about two hours and 18 minutes to actually um, edit the video um, prior to posting the first ever every day. Uh, the main reason I'm doing this is because I want to stay committed to myself. I want to develop my own artistic skills. And I do believe that um, it is going to be one of those challenges that I'm going to have to attack every single day. Um, having said that, it is currently August 15, 2, 19 a.m. at this moment. Um, one of the main things I hope to get from this is to actually be able to um, be more um, proactive and more active with my actual um, art, uh, be able to go forward, um, not really allow myself to um, procrastinate with it uh, because that has been one of my main issues within the last two years. Um, and I do believe that's why some of my projects that I have in mind have not been able to move quicker than I want them to because I don't have a schedule for it. Uh, and literally, Bob Beeple's book um, and one of his first pages talks about how um, the lack of deadlines is one of the main things that artists have. Um, it's not the lack of ideas. So I do believe that that is one of the important things that you can learn um from people um beyond the aspect that he was able to uh sell his art for so much uh, which is badass to be honest to be able to experience that um being alive um and more so for digital artists because some people do not respect digital artists just because they don't see it as a real art 
um, but going forward on uh, this channel, um, it is a goal that I do have personally. I intend to post every single day and that's gonna be my take on it. Um, hopefully it gets, I get better at editing, I get better at, um, this is the kind of like the, the goals that I'm kind of looking for in the future, getting better at editing, getting more uh, effective with my time um, and being able to um, just put what's in my mind into paper or into an art piece that I can put out in an efficient time frame. Uh, I know a lot of us have that issue. Uh, so hopefully you can get something out of this video. Hope you have an amazing day. And let me show you the time so you don't say that I'm capping or that I'm lying about this shit. So currently. So uh, yeah, guys, hope you have an, an amazing day and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.